Hi, my name is Ramona Hernandez, and two of the things I want to share is, first of all, I want to say thank you to all of my fellow classmates and my co-teachers. Um, this course was definitely one of the toughest courses I had to take at Fresno State. It wasn't difficult in the matter that the material was not understandable. It was just difficult in the manner that it was a totally different concept that I was learning. As I stated, I had no knowledge of backwards design. I had minimal knowledge of the level of blooms. I never took a content standard and turned it into a learning objective. Uh, I never created a lesson plan prior to this class. I never wrote a philosophy statement. Um, so it was just difficult in the matter that it was just all brand new to me. However, we made it so you can make it. And my second thing I wanna share is um, some advice for newcomers. Um, just take this course as it is. Uh, it is what it is, um, and the more you are acceptable to what the course is, the easier you'll come around the material. So it's not hard, as others make it seem. Um, I feel that nobody really likes this class because... It's just different. Um, you might have had a professor that just gives you everything, spoon feeds you everything. This is definitely not the course where you're gonna be spoon fed. Um, it's like, you know, mom has, mom leaves you the bread and the mayonnaise and the sandwich and the meat, the, the meat for you to make your sandwich and you make it. Uh, that's what it is. And Honestly, don't be afraid of office hours. I know I spent maybe two hours twice in office hours, and it's it's really helpful. And if you really want to be that student that actually understands what you're doing, take advantage of your office hours. Um, I honestly wish I would have made more time for office hours, but... I am a full-time student and a full-time employee, so my time was very minimal. I would say read your material. Read it, take notes. Um, it's very important to know what you're doing. The material there, I feel like, was a great way for us to answer our own questions. And my last advice is come with a come with a positive attitude always um, I had a couple of classmates that always wanted to just bark and it made the class very tenseful even though we were, were virtual it made it made it seem like oh like well I don't want to be here and that ruins it for everybody else so don't be that person like if you have anger issues, if, you know, use it in office hours. If you want to just take your rage out on Dr. Dewalt, do it during your own time. Don't, don't waste it for other people. And lastly, I would add, um, his way of speaking, he does have a, a strong tone, but don't take that into offense don't take don't take it personal like that's just who he is he just wants us to be the best version of ourselves and you just need to live up to those standards like it in all honesty if we do want to be the teachers we're setting ourselves to be i feel like dr Dewalt does a good job of holding us to that standard well i hope that helped um again thank you to my co-teachers it was a crazy time 
again, we were with COVID and everything, but I feel like this course, I would have learned more if I was in person, but needless to say, we made it and I'm glad. Again, thank you.